<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and this right here is my PSP Go. Now, this has already been flashed with custom firmware, and in particular, it has the ARC4 custom firmware on it, which I have grown to know and love, and I've really enjoyed this custom firmware you can see right here. However, the nice thing is about custom firmware and the reason why I was citing this one, ARC4, is because ARC4 is really the only PSP custom firmware I'm seeing in the current day which is still updated, unlike LME, ME, or Pro, or even any of the legacy ones such as of course like the Dark Alex ones, OE, SE, uh, M33. ARC4 is the latest and still brings new stuff to the table which is quite nice. So therefore, if you install your custom firmware, you could sit it and forget it, but if you really want to take advantage of ARC4 to the fullest, it does help to update ARC4. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all, if you have an ARC4 modified PSP, how you can update the firmware. Now I have two other videos already covering this. If you have a PSP, it's not modified and you need to get to this point, I'm going to have a video in the description showing how you can install ARC4 custom firmware on your PSP. Alternatively, if you have a modified PSP and one that's running an older custom firmware or maybe Infinity or Infinity 2, I'll also link that video because that's going to show how you can take your pre-modded PSP and you can update it to the latest ARC4 custom firmware and do a full flash by the end of it. But if you already have ARC and you want to install the latest update, I'll show you how to get this started. First, you are going to need your PSP. It will need to be running ARC4 custom firmware, and you're going to need a way of getting the storage connected to your PC. Now, if you have something such as this, like a PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, or a street, you could go through a mini USB cable and hook everything up properly there. Or if you want to, you can end up taking the storage out itself and you have a couple options. You can use a legitimate Memory Stick Duo or you could even use a Memory Stick Pro Duo with a micro SD card and adapt that to your PC. Whichever works and whichever way allows you to get files onto your system from the internet. Go ahead and do that. Since I have a PSP Go, which thankfully has 16 gigabytes of storage built in, I'm just going to be using a USB cable right here. So for this, I'm going to navigate over to settings, USB connection, and I'm going to connect this to my PC. Over at our PC, thankfully we only need one download for this. This is going to be linked down below in the description, and it's going to be from the GitHub repository for ARC4. You're going to want to come to releases and click on the latest release right here. And from here, you're going to see the new change logs, some nice new comments and such, and uh, the things uh, the developer says here are pretty funny. They make me laugh a little bit when I'm reading these. However, you're just going to need to come down here and download the latest ARC4 zip file and save this somewhere you can easily find it. For what it's worth as well, we are going to be following the instructions for upgrading, which you can find right here on the README, and there's three ways to update ARC, and the one we're going to be using is option two, which is just to copy the update Update folder over. So once you have this downloaded, you should find your arc4.zip, right click and use your favorite extraction software to extract it into its own folder. Now open up the arc4 folder and it's going to look something like this. You should see this update folder right here, with inside of it it just has a small eboot.pbp file. We can come out of here, but we're going to grab this update folder. So right click and copy out this update folder. Now navigate over to your PSP storage, go into PSP, go into game, and we're going to right click and paste in our update folder. If you have an update folder already in there, you're going to want to delete it and you're going to want to replace it with this one. And for what it's worth here, if you've been playing around with themes through the custom launcher, there might be some new ones here in the future. So you can right click this themes folder and copy it out. Then on your PSP storage itself, wherever you have saved your themes, which mine is on the root, you can right click and paste this here. If you want to, go ahead and overwrite these or do older only, whichever works. But if there's a difference here, I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite all, give that a few moments to copy over, and once that is done, we should be good at that point. So we can now come back out here, right click, and eject this, and now let's navigate back over to the PSP. Now I've already disconnected the PSP, so I'm going to hit circle right here, and I'm going to disconnect this from USB. Now all we need to do in order to update this is we need to navigate over to the game column, go into your system storage or your memory stick, wherever this has been saved, and you should see the ARC4 update application. Go ahead, tap this, and launch it. There we go, it's going to do its magic. Let's just let it do its thing. It's doing all those updates, and there we go. 
So after a bit, it should go ahead and do a reboot. And once we come back out to the XMB, if we want to, once this loads up, we can press the select button right here, and you should be able to see right here what the revision is. As you can see, this is R153, which is a newer revision than what I was running before. So at this point now, you are good to go. You still have your ARC4 custom firmware, but you've been able to update the custom firmware itself, so you can continue playing, have some fun, and if there's any new features, bug fixes, or what have you that directly benefit you, go ahead and make use of those. It'll be a great time. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.